All right. using for, for show openers and stuff. And a lot of people here on YouTube ask me, uh, could I show it? Well, here it is. So, when we start this, um, you have two B notes, this octave thing. And then there's an E coming after that. And you move the B and the octave thing up to the C and the low E. to alternate between that. Now the way I pick this is I use um, the pick and my finger uh, fingers? I don't know. I'm, let's see how many fingers I use. Well for this piece I use just one finger on my pick to, to plug the octave. Use the pick for the low E. This is, I just noticed that I'm... I'm, put, I'm picking the, the higher B, uh, the higher melody note. Just... So after I play just a single note, I use the octave again. So that's for the intro. Then... Uh, comes the trickier part because that has to continue going like it. That has to keep going, and and in between there's a what is it again? And that has to, uh, to 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 come to mix in there. So how did I do that? Um, first, I'm picking the B and E note. I'm just using my pick for that. Then comes the F sharp note. And there's the E, the first E. <laughs> and let it ring. That's why I'm kind of not using a too distorted tone. So the, the notes, they blend into each other. Another tricky thing, I use the pick and the, what is this? This is my middle finger again. So let's see if we can get a close up of the right hand, what's going on. Then comes another double note the C sharp and the E note. And there's there's the double note again. I have to use my pick for this because I'm uh, not good at the uh, where is that? Do that 
that with just your fingers, so I'm using the pick to, uh, to do that. So you can, you can hear that that E is going... without a extra note on your D string and the second E is with the note on the D string. Okay? So I hope that's clear because there's nothing more to that uh, except for the last one. Uh, what is that? Let me see. That's terrible, so... Uh, um, slowly, let's see if we can get the left hand. And then there's a different... let's see. Uh, that's also very nice. And that uh, comes together with the B again. Uh, whoops. You pick that D note one more time, so... That's the low E together with the B note. Pull off to an A note. And then the B comes together with the C sharp. So... Let's see. Part B, um, I haven't done the, uh, uh, shall we call it, the chorus in that thing? Because I can't get it swinging or whatever. But if you, uh, if you have a cool version of that, please show me. Uh, I might be able to uh, do something with that. Then just to end it, I use the, uh, uh, what is that, an E and a G note and a E flat to a D. That's a G note and a B note to a what is it? It's a F sharp to an F. A B note, a D note, and a G. No, 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 no. That's a B flat note to an A. E and G. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's E, G, and the same as the first one, I think, uh, E flat to D. And here comes the one chord, and this is a really cool chord, actually. It's a major minor ninth chord. Let me see if I can explain that. We have the E in the bass. It's a diagonal shape from the tenth fret on your A string. Nine, eight, seven. So you have an E note, a G note, a B note, uh, what is that, an E flat, and an F sharp. And that has like, the G note is the minor third of the E chord, the B is the fifth. And then we have the E flat, which is the major seventh note. So you have this very nice sounding thing, and there's nine. Now, if you want to go uh, crazy with uh, scales on that one, there's a cool one uh, you can use there, which is the melodic minor scale. And you can use this scale uh, with the same 
root note, you don't have to use a mode like the, the with the altered dominant chords that you're using the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale, but this you can use the just from the E note and do with that. So, um, yeah, I think that about wraps it up for the uh, uh, James Bond theme. Uh, I'll leave you with one thing and I'll, um, I might show that one to you next time when I do another video. <laughs> Till next time.